Kiora. I've been uh, organising events um, for 22 years with a mainly music focus and today's topic is the annual Waitati Music Festival. Thanks. So here's our poster for next year which will be our seventh year. Uh, we uh, expect over a thousand attendees which includes the volunteers and performers. Advertising via Phantom, Street Campaign, Facebook and really importantly local community newsletters and we're really happy with our rainbow brand. Um, Angela Lyon does our posters and all the photographs are Angela Lyon as well. Uh, so um, main stage, well it's really exciting organising that, it's like big DJing. So I get to choose 12 live acts and they have to be basically amazing, alternative and affordable. I also have a brilliant DJ between acts and school bands to open the festival which is I'd like to connect with. <laughs> project we've just heard about. So the Poet Palette is um, a stage which is curated by my husband Matthew Peppercorn and we have, art, um, we have poets, comedians, a cappella bands, live bands and rap battlers and it's a really, it's a, it's, it used to be a small, literally a palette stage and it's got a bit bigger. This year I'm hoping to make it even bigger. Mini rave, my thing's dance music really. So um, I get uh, 10 of the some of the best like DJs from the subculture of Dunedin, um, multi-genre, really fun. Again, this year it's going to be bigger. <laughs> um, what did I want to say? Kid zone. It's a, an amazing kid zone. If the kids are happy, the parents are happy, everybody has a really relaxed day. We have um, loads of people: Jay the Juggler, Rainbow Roslyn, Karen Snow. Uh, Philippa Ferry, face painting, there's a massive creative workshop element so kids make stuff and then at the end at six o'clock we go through the crowd and there's a big parade. This is one of the art installations we had last year. I painted and prepared all these boards, hung them between the, between the rugby posts. Two um, unnamed graffiti artists, will not mention names in case they do your walls, um, do, did some fabulous work and it was amazing to see them create from scratch like through the day. Another art project was the Armory Stone Carving. Um, we had four brilliant carvers come and create four pieces that you can see here. And the result of these pieces, they're all around White Artists community space. So we donated the, the final work and this year we'll be creating more and making like a sculpture trail around um, one of our local walks. More art projects. Uh, we had this quirky free conversations um, thing here. We had Liz Abbott with her wood cutting. We had an enormous giant teapot, it's like this big, <laughs> and you could put your handprints on. All the festival goes handprints are on there. We had kids painting a car, we had screen printing. You can get your t-shirt, bring your t-shirt, get it printed, screen printing by Eliza McMillan. Funding, well, it, you know, this is important. <laughs> it costs about 22 grand. Um, I drew the pie graph, it was really fun. <laughs> uh, the humans basically pay for it, but we get support, all right? And it's probably about the right ratio, but I think that it's really risky for us organisers. So if, if the rain comes, we all fall down. Ugh, that needs to be helped sometimes. Um, crew, can't do it without your crew. White Atty Militia make up about half of my volunteers and brilliant people. We have brilliant meetings, really fun meetings, creative, busy bit drunken. Um, I love Waitati. Waitati rocks um, and our community absolutely loves the Waitati Music Festival. <laughs>